Kevin's a great airport director, but he's done a lot more than many other great airport directors have done in terms of his economic development vision. Uh, in addition to making sure this place works every day and people get on and off planes safely, he's really been focused on creating jobs here at the airport from you know, Honda Jet to Heiko to Boom Supersonic and, and uh, Cessna, all the companies that are here that employ people each day, he's really been focused on that and that will create a broader legacy in the community. While he is often one of the smartest people in the room, He's also one of the hardest working people in the room. And when you put those two things together, then you really have an opportunity to move forward. Not only in terms of economic development, but also working on our terminal building in terms of passenger experience. Uh, Kevin's leadership helped lead to a, another runway, which makes us have more opportunity for economic development. Kevin's leadership, along with the late Senator uh, Kay Hagan, led to our new tower. Uh, that will be dedicated uh, this fall. Kevin is one of the main reasons that we are in Greensboro. Yeah, during our uh, first site visit, I think it became very evident that Kevin has this grand plan for Greensboro. Um, we like to think of it as total domination. I know one of the, the visits that we had, which was uh, I think it was right before we actually made our final decision that we were coming to Greensboro. He kind of let us in on one of the traditions that he does in his family. Um, he ordered us an Overture uh, wine, which is the name of our uh, aircraft. And uh, after the dinner, we had all drank the bottle. He passed it around and everyone signed it with a paint pen um, to kind of commemorate that visit and that trip with everyone. And he said that one day after the announcement, he'll break it back out so that we can all see it and remember how it all began. So it's really great to know that this isn't just a business deal for him. He really wants to see us succeed and wants to make sure we're happy in the end. Far beyond the, the, you know, hundreds of thousands of people who fly through here each year on commercial flights, he views this airport as a job creator and is passionate about that. Being able to like go behind the scenes with Kevin has been great because it showed me um, like the things that I did know and then it showed me everything I didn't know. It was just really exciting and I'm, I'm just ready to learn, I'm ready to go into it. And in 30 years, I could see myself being in his shoes. I just wanna say thank you and congratulations. Congratulations for a great job. This is a well-deserved honor. Congratulations, Kevin. Um, I think you really deserve this. Kevin, I want to wish you heartfelt congratulations on this award, and you've made a tremendous positive impact on the community that you and your family live in. This is absolutely a tremendous award, uh, especially given the fact that it has a legacy of Stanley Frank, who had decades of service to this airport behind him. And I'd like to take the privilege of just sharing this with the whole airport family. And I think it's important for us to remember those who came before us, the decisions that they made, the risks that they took so that we could be here today. And it's also important for us to remember those who will come 10, 20, 30, and 50 years after us and make sure that we do our duty to prepare this place to be ready for them. So on behalf of myself and on behalf of the entire airport team, thank you Greensboro Chamber for this, this great honor.